Crowley had hoped to get his disciples into influential positions in America to influence the masses. One such disciple was former Harvard professor turned drug guru, Timothy Leary. Timothy Leary, the defunct Harvard professor, led the drug revolution in the 1960s as he handed out mescaline and LSD like it was candy to the youth. This in turn opened up the hippie youth of the West to the pagan demonic gods of the East who were also promoted by Aleister Crowley. We can see here that Timothy Leary is under a painting which bears the number of the Antichrist, 666, who is prophesied to rule the world until he's destroyed by Christ at Armageddon. Timothy Leary claimed that he came to the realization that he was to usher in Crowley's new age when he was using Crowley's tarot cards. Leary asked the question, who am I and what is my destiny? Leary claims that he then cut to the ace of disc. Robert Anton Wilson declared, this shows a large disc bearing the Greek letters to Megatherion, the great beast. Leary interpreted this to mean that he is Crowley reborn and is supposed to complete the work Crowley began. On a PBS interview, Timothy Leary let his hair down and admitted that he was carrying on Satanist Aleister Crowley's work and that the 1960s is when the plan began to come to fruition. Well, I've been an admirer of Aleister Crowley. I think that uh, I'm carrying on much of the work that uh, he started uh, over 100 years ago, and I think the 60s themselves. You know, Crowley said uh, um, he was in favor of, uh, of uh, finding your own self and, and uh, uh, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law, under love. It was a very powerful statement. I'm sorry he isn't around now to appreciate the glories that he started. As Satan guided Crowley, Crowley declared that his writings were to be, quote, circulated among the young, end quote. Crowley predicted that America would pick up, quote, a few axioms on which a working majority can agree, a few dogmas which it could rally. Do what thou wilt, of course, became do your own thing, and if it feels good, do it in the 1960s. Timothy Leary came up with a few of his own. He looked out at that crowd and he said, Turn on, tune in, That's right. and drop out. Turn on, tune in, and drop out. We're turned on, and we're tuned in, and we're very dropped out. Turn on, tune in, and drop out. <laughs> turn on, tune in, and drop out became turn on, tune in, and take over. As the easily led Crowley and youth culture was deceived into believing that they had received spiritual enlightenment, when in fact they had swung the door open to Satan and his plan to destroy the world. Satan had effectively slipped in his destructive teachings to undermine traditional moral values through the cloak of a supposed anti-materialistic peace movement. Crowley taught that his satanic doctrine should be cloaked under the lie of love and he believed the youth would fall for it. If Timothy Leary was Crowley's drug guru of the 1960s, Leary dubbed John Lennon and the Beatles as the four evangelists. The Beatles wrote the song Come Together as a campaign song for Leary's hopeful presidential bid that thank God never got off the ground. <laughs> 